to you. Welcome to the Ethical Hacker Training course based on CEH Certification Program by Easy Council. Module Network Scanning Section Proxy Server. Proxy Server is a server that acts as an intermediary for the request from clients seeking resources from other servers. Proxy works as middleman between your PC and internet. When using proxy, your actual IP address will be hidden and you will use proxy's IP address instead. A client connects to the proxy server, request a web page or others, and the proxy server contacts the destination server and responds back to the client. Web proxies facilitate access to the content on the World Wide Web, providing anonymity and may be used to bypass the IP address blocking. Many proxies mask your IP address and they don't encrypt your traffic, which means that a malicious user can still intercept it. Type of proxy servers Gateway or tunneling proxy, open proxy, and reverse proxy. Gateway or tunneling proxy is a server that passes the unmodified requests and responses. Open proxy or forward proxy. This is an internet facing proxy used to retrieve a wide range of resources. There are many open proxies on the internet. An anonymous open proxy allows users to conceal their IP address while browsing the web or using other internet services. Reverse proxy or surrogate proxy. This is an internal facing proxy used as front end to control and protect access to a server on a private network. A reverse proxy commonly performs tasks such as load balancing, authentication, decryption or caching, etc. There are several reasons for installing reverse proxy servers. Encryption or SSL acceleration, load balancing. The reverse proxy can distribute the load to several web servers each web server serving its own application area. Server cache static content. A reverse proxy can offload the web servers by caching static content like pictures and other graphic content. Compression. A proxy server can optimize and compress the content to speed up the load time. Security. The proxy server is an additional layer of defense and can protect against some OS and web server specific attacks. Extranet publishing. A reverse proxy server facing the internet can be used to communicate to a firewall server internal to an organization, providing extranet access to some functions while keeping the servers behind the firewalls. An open proxy is a forwarding server that is accessible by any internet user. A reverse proxy or surrogate proxy is a server that appears to the clients to be an ordinary server. Requests are forwarded to one or more proxy servers which handle the request. The response from the proxy server is returned as if it came directly from the original server, leaving the client no knowledge of the origin servers. Reverse proxies are installed in the neighborhood of one or more web servers. All the traffic coming from internet and with the destination of one of the neighborhood's web server goes through a proxy server. These are some of the implementation of proxies. TOR proxy is popular among all. TOR is an acronym for the Onion Router. TOR client software routes internet traffic through a worldwide volunteer network of servers in order to conceal the user's location or usage from someone conducting network surveillance or traffic analysis. Using TOR makes it more difficult to trace internet activity, including visits to the websites, online posts, instant messages, and other communication forms back to the user. It is intended to protect users' personal freedom, privacy, and ability to conduct confidential businesses by keeping their internet activities from being monitored. I2P proxy. I2P anonymous network is a proxy network implementing garlic routing. This is an enhancement of TOR's onion routing. I2P is fully distributed and works by encrypting all communication in various layers and relaying them through a network of routers run by the volunteers in various locations. By keeping the source of the information hidden, I2P offers censorship resistance. The goals of the I2P are to protect users' personal freedom, privacy, and ability to conduct confidential business. Web proxy forwards HTTP requests. SOX proxy forwards arbitrary data of the connection place. It is similar to HTTP connect in web proxies. Transparent proxy is also known as intercepting proxy, inline proxy or post proxy. 
transparent proxy intercepts normal communication at the network layer without requiring any special client configuration. A transparent proxy is normally located between the client and the internet, with the proxy performing some of the functions of a gateway. CGA proxy A CGA proxy accepts target URLs using web form in the user's browser window, processes the request and returns the results to the user's browser. Suffix proxy A suffix proxy allows a user to access the web content by appending the name of the proxy server to the URL of the requested content, like example.com.suffixproxy.com. DNS proxy takes DNS queries and forwards them to the internet domain name server. It may also cache DNS records. SMTP proxies are specialized mail transfer agents MTAs, that simulate the other type of proxy servers, pass the SMTP sessions through the other MTAs, without using the store and forward approach of a typical MTA. These are the popular proxy tools. Hydster, Kproxy, Ultrasurf, Megaproxy, Tor, and we are going to discuss this in part 2. And more proxies are here like Genproxy, Privoxy, NGINX, TinyProxy, etc. Proxy chains is having a chain of servers to connect to the remote host for high level of anonymity. A chain can contain proxy servers of different types, such version 4, version 5, HTTPS, etc. If you use a HTTP proxy, it must be the last one in the chain. Disadvantage being if one proxy is down, then the entire chain will be down, and the time lag to the destination will increase by the sum of all the lags through the proxies. If a chain contains no proxies, the connection will be made directly. Logging and eavesdropping. Proxies can be installed in order to eavesdrop upon the data flow between client machines and the web. All the content sent are accessed, including passwords, cookies, can be captured and analyzed by the proxy operator. Passwords to online services such as webmail banking should always be exchanged over a secure connection, that is, using SSL. These are some of the proxy tools for mobile. Proxy Droid. Our bot is a free proxy app that empowers other apps to use the internet securely. Our bot is Tor for Android. Our Fox is a Tor browser for Android. Our Fox is built from the same source code as the Tor browser. Charles Proxy and others. Thanks for watching.